you. guys so you find me in Australia of all places and this is Chris my friend's R32 GTR which for me is to be honest my, my dream car me and Chris have been friends for a long time since we were like like before even primary school I think and he moved to Australia a few well, a few years ago now and one of our like I say, one of our biggest dreams for both of us has been to earn an R32 GTR. This all started when we was a lot younger. Chris's dad uh, bought a four-door R32 and that car was kind of what brought me and Chris together really. It started a friendship that has lasted, well, ever since then. So, you know, he's, he's actually managed to achieve his goal by moving out here and, you know, earning enough money and they're a lot cheaper out here. Well, they were cheaper out here until America could import them. But and he's been kind enough to let me do a vlog on it. So here we are. It's a, quite a bit different from from what I expected, to be honest. It's really nice to drive. It doesn't feel as fast as I thought it would, which is surprising considering obviously it's 2.6 twin turbo. But it's a different kind of speed compared to what I'm used to. Obviously, I'm used to front wheel drive and a civics that don't weigh anything so i mean don't get me wrong it's fucking it is quick like properly properly fast but it's a real smooth type of speed it's not like when you get in a civic and you change gear and you're like you know instant it's pretty cool it's fairly standard to be honest it's obviously got the aftermarket wheels which you've seen uh chris has retrimmed the the door cards and the other bits and bobs with some hks material it's got aftermarket clocks in there, Tamai, I think you see it. Uh, Starco steering wheel. We installed this boost gauge earlier on in the week when I was here. Um, it's running about 12 PSI boost, he says. And obviously they're safe to run like 14 PSI apparently, so I don't know if we can try and turn up the boost. He said his boost control is pretty shit, so I don't know. I can't talk for like this much longer because with the windows shut, it is pretty hot. I mean, outside right now, it's 32 degrees. 32. But yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'll get some, I'll get a few videos, and then uh, I think later on tonight, me and Chris are gonna go to a, a meet. So I'll get some exterior shots of the car tonight. Oh, there's a Civic. An EG. Yeah, Hondas aren't really a thing out here. It's kind of Nissans and V8s, Commodores and Holden. And a lot of Skylands, but not many GTRs. In fact, this is the only GTR I've seen while I've been here. But yeah, what an opportunity. So yeah, thanks for that, Chris. Cheers, buddy. Dreams achieved. Well, obviously the dream is to earn one, but I didn't think I'd ever get to drive one, let alone earn one. It's pretty good. I feel like I need to talk about it more. All right, what else has it got? Okay, it's got aftermarket mines, boost 
Nice gauge, I think that is. Oh, uh, what is that? I don't know what that is. It's a mines thing, but it doesn't work. It's also got another sensor down here. HKS one, and that's for exhaust temperature, but that's a bit. They don't really work either. The seats, the interior is obviously pretty standard. The seats are real comfy, actually. I didn't realise. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. The seats are like really comfortable. I didn't realise how comfortable they'd be. I'll try and find somewhere to stop so I can do a bit of a walk around. Uh, oh, the Mac is here. I've not had an Australian Mac as yet. In Australia, they got these road trains. Check this out. Mental. All right, so I've just stopped at a shop to get some stuff that I need to pick up. Um, but yeah, it's got a turbo timer, obviously. So take the key out. That'll stay on. Um, let's go do some shopping. So there it is, pretty cool, it's a fast car, oh, the lights have gone off. Alright guys, uh, day number two with the GTR, Chris is just at work now, so tonight after he's finished work, we're going to go and try and get some exterior shots of the car. So. He's asked me to go and explore uh, some quiet areas and see if there's anywhere where I can find a filming location. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to bring you guys with me. Uh, yeah. Should be fairly interesting, but we'll see. Oh, it's warm. There she is. Alright guys, so the GoPro is nearly dead, so I brought my power pack with me, hopefully that should do the trick. So, <clears throat> I can't exactly tell you where I'm going because I don't really want to give any uh, kind of locations away, but the place where I'm going is supposed to be pretty quiet, very scenic, shouldn't be a problem with too much traffic for exterior shots and stuff. So, should be an ideal location. That's if it doesn't rain. The part of Australia that I'm in right now is, is in the wet season, so there's like the, a lot of rain. Getting a couple of drops on the windscreen, but we'll see. Should be hopefully all right. Weather forecast says it's gonna clear up a bit, but we'll see. It's still really hot.
Australia Fair. Pretty much landing on on the road. All right, so not really sure that this is going to be the best place to get um, exterior shots because it's quite small and the roads are quite small as well. Sorry if it's really windy. So yeah, don't think this is going to be the place to do it. So I think what I'll do now is there's a race track just up the road apparently, and it's got a drag strip and stuff. So maybe I'll go check that out and see what's going on up there, if anything. Uh, yeah, there she is. There was a real bad thunderstorm earlier, but I couldn't. Uh, I was too busy trying to find out where I was going to um, to get the camera out and show you the uh, show you the lightning. Yeah, I'll go and have a look. You can still hear the thunder actually. So yeah, I'll go and have a look at the racetrack, see if there's anything going on there. I need to get out of here as well because apparently there's biting insects, sounds everywhere saying cover up, and yeah, not really covered. Just found this cool little place. Look at that. That's pretty cool, isn't it? All right, I'm gonna have to get moving because I think the car might be getting a little bit hot. Yeah, we're all good, but yeah. track but it doesn't look like there's well there's no racing going on there's loads of people here but no racing going on which is weird the cool S13 here loads of people up there but no racing going on so god knows what's happening nothing else worth mentioning and it's raining and it's bloody boiling like it's hot oh well it was worth a try Oh, yeah, boy!